Hey crafty friends, this is Enoch Kessler with Saturday Extravaganza. Thank you very much for joining me. And so many of you asked me to do a tutorial about this um, Valentine's one page mini album or card holder or coupon holder. So here you go, you got it. So what you'll need is one sheet of 12 by 12 double sided cardstock and I think I'm going to use this one and basically what we're going to start with is cutting it to four pieces um, very easy four pieces one strip of uh, 12 inch by four inches this is going to be our first strip of paper and you just cut it with your trimmer and then we're going to put that aside and the remaining piece we're going to go and create three strips of four inch by eight inch so three identical size um, strips of the cardstock and these are going to be our pages so now we're going to fold them two strips we're going to fold right in the middle that's a four inch uh, line so we're going to fold them in half basically the third one we need to allow for a little bit of volume for the little tiny mini album so if the middle is the four inch line we're going to do one fold there going to score it there and one score on the left side at the one eighth one eighth of an inch to the left so that would be three inches and seven eighth so this will create a sort of a gusset a sort of a spine for our mini album okay and this will allow for the thickness of the pages that we're going to put inside so now let's fold the other two and you have to decide which side you want to be on the front and which side you want to be on the back because only one side will show mostly um, and now we're gonna um, glue them back to back so I'm gonna go with this side so we're gonna glue them back to back like this okay so I'm just using a uh, double-sided tape for this you can use liquid glue but first I just want to punch the edges of the pages because what I'm going to create are pockets so I have a beautiful heart punch so this is going to be the pocket so we're going to glue the back to back and we're going to apply glue on the top and the bottom edges only and this will create the pocket you just align them together and glue it down so basically what we're doing is gluing the both both of the flaps back to back so here is our pocket so this is how it looks after it's glued and now we're going to glue it down to our cover like this and we're gonna create pockets on both sides as well in the same way that we did the metal pocket just gonna glue it down back to back applying glue on the top and bottom edges only leaving the front open so on the top and the bottom and then just align it to the center do it while it's folded so the paper will know where to go and you won't have problems opening and closing it this is and now the last side the back cover we're gonna create a pocket there as well So again, apply the glue on the top and on the bottom only and glue it down. And here you have the pockets, 
three pockets with a little tiny mini album so for the last strip of paper what we're gonna do is use it for tags and embellishments so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to cut it to um, two and a half inch wide pieces or two and three quarters depending on the width of your glue and the room that you have in your pockets basically you see it fits nicely so I cut it in two and a half but maybe two and three quarters will be fine too now one strip I'm going to cut in half again lengthwise so I have two strips of paper that I can um, embellish with so the first one I'm going to create a tiny pocket by applying three by applying the glue only to three sides leaving the top without glue and having a little tiny pocket here for something else to add and the tags I have here and what I'm gonna do is use some stickers that I have to embellish the mini and the tags so I'm gonna cut this one in half again the last strip that I have and I'm going to glue it down to one of the tags just for the tags not to be too boring I'm adding embellishments here and there and of course at this stage you can go completely wild with all kinds of embellishments and stickers and letters and whatever you want so on the front I'm gonna add love the word love these are um, chipboard stickers so they're quite thick so I'm not gonna go completely wild with them so what I'm gonna add with a pen is the word notes so we're gonna have love notes in there but you can write love coupons uh, love for you I love you you know just play around with the with the title of this uh, mini slash coupon slash notes holder um, so once I'm done with that love notes see so I'm gonna finish with the first tag that I started I'm gonna add I have a heart punch and some scraps of paper we always have so many scraps of paper and you just find the ones that go with your color scheme and your um, theme and you just add stuff so I have these flowers here that I'm cutting and I'm gonna add them you can use a, a flower punch or a heart punch or whatever punches that you have and use them with scraps of paper and that's a really great way to use all those scraps of paper just add you know embellishments and stuff to a mini album or something to a project so I have a double uh, 3d kind of a paper there and with my little heart punch I'm gonna add hearts because it is love and it's so pink so it's kind of a really wild Valentine's Day mini album very traditional very unlike me by the way I hate pink usually but this is fun and for the first tag I'm just gonna add something to it mmm just gonna add another flower I also have orange flowers on this paper but I'm just gonna use the pink ones So I'm just going to add the flower on the back side of this tag, insert it in its pocket. I'm going to go this side like that. And the other strip of paper that I have left, I'm going to add this here. And I'm going to punch a few more pink hearts and add them and the idea is just to play with your embellishments you know with your scrap papers and just add little stuff 
and of course if you want you can do a double mini and then you'll have more pages or you can do a few of those you can just you know play around with it so this is another tag I'm gonna fold it in half So the tag will be a little bit more interesting and I'm gonna punch two flowers and sandwich them on the folded tag. One on the inside and one on the outside. Like that. So this is gonna go in here and this is a sticker that I have and since the other side is sticky I covered it with paper and since two hearts were punched there I didn't want the glue to be sticky so I punched two more hearts and added them instead of the ones that I punched from the paper so basically all the sticky side of the of the um, sticker is covered with paper so now it's a tag not a sticker so this is a really great way to I'm gonna put this here this is a really great way to uh, take a sticker and turn it into a tag um, and for this tag I'm just gonna add a heart sticker on it gonna put this in here I'm playing with wherever I'm putting i am just put it on the other pocket and this is a sticker that I tore in half or tore apart tearing that heart a little bit as you can see where am I gonna put that no nope, I'm gonna put it up here so anyway the paper on the heart tore a little bit but that's not a problem because we can always cover it people don't worry about it you guys mistakes are always fixable so I'm just gonna cut a flower a little flower pink flower and I'm just gonna glue it on the torn paper on the boo-boo there and it fixed nobody knows nobody saw nobody you know and this way I got one from one sticker because that I love you that I glued on the other page was a part of the sticker here with the heart and since I tore it in two I now have two stickers for the price of one right so we're basically done you can fill all those pockets with coupons or love notes or whatever and so here's the tutorial that you asked for and I hope you are happy because I'm happy and love is the greatest power on earth so you know here are all the nice tags and pockets that we created and I had a lot of fun doing this you guys thank you for asking me to do this and thank you very much for watching and thank you very much for joining me and have a great Valentine's Day see you next week bye you guys <laughs>